so sick, Akisha. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so see, so the name of the studio is called Beijing Blue Rose Culture and Art Studio, and we focus mainly on culture in using art. Wow, this is nice. Is it ready to use? Oh no, everything you see here goes through a process. I can take you through the steps. Like to try it? Yes. Uh, well, I, I would like to know how it's made and, and what needs to be done. Yes. Okay, so I'll take you through the steps. I am nothing. Nothing. Just like clay. With no purpose, no form, no shape. But pliable, movable moldable like clay clay in the hands of the potter destined to become the most special creation creation with the creator's dna and the potter starts working working his way into this beautiful pottery trying hard but it's not working what is happening the problem I'm not centered in my potter's wheel. I keep swirling round and round, sometimes to the left, sometimes to the right, following distractions, convenience, and comfort. I need to put aside all my unworthy ambitions and desires to pursue excellence. How do I do that? This world is like a beautiful but suspicious package. A package I can't wait to open, even without checking the label or the sender. So tempting, but so empty. I need to do the right thing. But my heart? My heart is so weak. How can I stay centered in my potter's wheel? Someone help me! My potter has many tools, but there is one among all known to be the most effective and also invasive tool to be used on the clay, the potter's needle. Sharper than two-edged sword, going down to the spirit and soul joint and marrow. Ouch, it hurts, it's uncomfortable, but it's a very important process to have the right shape so that nothing becomes something something beautiful and extraordinary. And when I thought I was done, wait, there's one last step, the firing. Fire? More heat? I thought the sun was enough. This is a crucial stage where my potter will be able to identify the quality of the pot. How can I happily welcome all this? How do I know if it's worth it? Should I just trust and surrender to my potter? But who exactly is my potter? My potter? He's the most honored and trusted craft artist of all time. He's never wrong and makes no mistakes. He created all things, things in this universe and beyond, visible and invisible, thrones, rulers, powers and authorities. And his love for us is beyond descriptions. He always has excellent plans for all humankind. So why should I question his ways and methods? Why wouldn't I trust him with all my heart and surrender to him? Oh, my potter, I yield myself to you. Mold me as you wish. Make me whole and complete. Fill me with joy and peace. Give my life purpose and identity. I give you all my will as you are my potter and I'm just the clay. <laughs>